Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about some major new updates as to what's going to be happening next season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be talking about this. This is an article that came out about like five days or so ago on the 28th of June. This is from TV Line. The link to the article will be in the description below. And in this article, they talk about the fact that, you know, the Flash's delayed finale twist will actually affect season 7's graphic novels. So that is what the showrunner Eric Wallace called it last season when you had the first eight episodes being their own story with their own villain being blood work. Then you have Crisis. Then after Crisis, you have the next section, which was supposed to finish with episode 22 but we never got to 22 we finished at 19 so they're going to be using those episodes 19 obviously was the finale 20 is going to be you know episode one of this next season they filmed most of it they're probably going to film a few new scenes here and there for that but then they've got 21 and 22 which are two three and then they're going to continue with season seven story so the article talks about this and they interviewed eric wallace about the new changes in terms of the graphic novel format and seeing that the first eight episodes last season set sort of the stage of crisis it kind of made sense and then you would have like a new kind of story for the post-crisis world of the flash and you know we were expecting this this season again because it's still Eric Wallace under control of the whole show. So he said some stuff. We're going to go over this in this video. Also, we've got some potential filming dates for Superman and Lois. And I guess I'll talk about some of the rumors as in regards to when these other shows are going to return for DC TV. Okay, so this is the quote from TV Line to do with the graphic novel format changes. All right, here's how it goes. Because this is The Flash, there's a huge twist at the end of every season, and that twist is now kind of coming in the middle of the start of the season, Wallace told TV Line, and that has really affected our storytelling for all of season 7, which is hoped to premiere in January 2021. Wallace, though, chooses to see the ripple effect as, and I quote, yet another blessing in disguise akin to how Crisis drove the first half of season 6, Another quote, amid the horror and tragedy of what's happening with this pandemic, if we can find some kind of lemonade in the lemon, it's us having to rethink a few things about how a flash season looks, given this narrative unpredictability this season. And another quote, there are going to be more graphic novels next year, he assured, but they're not going to be broken up in a way I think folks will expect. Okay, so that is the quotes as in regards to what Eric actually told TV Line. So, there's going to be some big changes next season, as Eric has said, with how they ended last season, and how the fact that you normally have a huge twist at the end of every season, and we never got to that huge twist. The cliffhanger for last season was just supposed to be leading into the next episode. It wasn't supposed to be like a season-ending cliffhanger where you're like, oh my god, what's happening? Because we were kind of like, yeah... We know this was for the next episode. We're probably going to get it in episode one. We kind of know what's going on. It's not like the biggest cliffhangers ever. And so we're expecting this huge twist. And Eric has confirmed this huge twist is going to be coming in the middle of the start of the season. So, you know, the start of the season in the middle, you have about eight to nine episodes for the mid season. So that would be the middle. So we find the middle of that is going to be about episode five or episode four for that big kind of moment that we were expecting at the end of last season and obviously they're going to be retooling everything and it might change episodes it might have been intended for episode 3 which would have been 22 and now maybe it's you know a few episodes later or something like that because they want to change it maybe and as Eric has said it's really affected their storytelling for all of season 7 and so they are aiming to get to that January 2021 release date. And what is rumored right now, apparently The Flash is going to be back to filming at the end of August or the start of September. Sometime around then is when they are set to return to film. 
I would probably say the end of August is a good bet. But as of right now, I would say September is a safer bet because some of the other CW DC TV shows are scheduled to film in September, which we'll get to later in this video. So it seems kind of unlikely that maybe they'll hit that August date. Like it's going to be more safer to do it in September, but I think they can make it in August. And I think because The Flash has a lot of episodes to film, maybe they want to get back early, but... That's just me guessing. So Eric calls it another blessing in disguise akin to how Crisis drove the first half of the season. So you're going to have the end of what they prepared to have at the end of season six at the start of season seven. And because of what's happened in the world and because they weren't able to finish those last episodes back when they were filming like in the end of March around that time when the productions got shut down, things have changed and it's made them look at their own seasons and it's made them look at how a Flash season looks and given the narrative unpredictability of what this has caused, you know, having the end of a season at the start of a season, this is going to be a challenge for them and it seems like Eric is very looking forward to this and he thinks it's a blessing in disguise where basically you know, they're going to have their graphic novels. Eric says there are going to be more graphic novels next year. So it's going to make everything change. So I'm guessing maybe instead of like two graphic novels, as Eric calls it, I'm guessing there's probably going to be like three. Because one to wrap up the end of how last season was supposed to end. Then you go on, you have the first half of the season villain, which may, may just run over to the back half. Maybe, you know, the episode counts will be different. Maybe the mid-season will be at a different point, like at a different episode. I'm not sure. But, so with that, you have the back half of the season where you have your final, final graphic novel where you have the biggest big battle of the season. And they're not going to be broken up in the same way and normal way that people expect Eric has teased. So with that, I would say, you know, the way that the season is structured is just going to be a bit different. It will be familiar in terms of like, it's going to be the same old Flash TV show that we love and watch every week. However, maybe one villain is bigger, one villain is a bit smaller because that's part of like a smaller graphic novel, kind of like in the comics. You have these short runs where you have this villain come in, the villain goes away, you have a new villain, then you have the next villain. Maybe... You know, at the start of the season, we finish with what happened to Eva and Black Hole, and then we move on to the next graphic novel. Maybe that is Godspeed and Godspeed and the Clones, and maybe the next graphic novel after that, the final graphic novel of the season, is something bigger than that. Is something like Reverse Flash or something, you know, another villain, maybe even bigger than Godspeed. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. But basically, what I'm trying to say is. The structure is going to be different, so, you know, I think it's just going to be in terms of the villains and the way and how long it takes to defeat a villain and how many, you know, random episodes there are. Because remember, with the end of the season taking up the first, like, three, four episodes at the start of season seven, they're basically going to have a smaller episode count to have their big two graphic novel story that they probably intended to have in the whole of season seven so it's pushed everything up and that's going to force them to condense their storytelling you're probably going to have less filler episodes and you'll have more episodes where you've got like say 18 episodes 17 episodes left after you have the start of the season then you have to get right to the point where you introduce that first villain and then you go to that second villain after the mid-season. So I think they're just going to have to be more to the point with everything going on here. So just moving on to the last thing. I want to talk about this. Superman and Lois might be coming back to filming in late September. So this is according to Krypton site. This is where I've got this information from. Apparently Vancouver production charts list Superman and Lois as filming from September 30th to October 15th, 2020. And so obviously that's not the whole of the production of Superman and Lois for season one. You know, I think they shot the pilot or something like that already. And then, you know, they were supposed to start filming, I think, a while ago. They couldn't do that. Now they're scheduled for September 30th, so right at the end of September to October 15th. Obviously that's not going to be the whole season filmed in 15, 16 days. What's going to be happening here is this is when it starts. This is, say, the first, like, two weeks that they've 
filled in, they've got it slotted out, they're going to see how the filming goes, if it's all good by October 15th, then they will just continue filming, basically. And that is basically what it says. So, Superman Lois will definitely hit its January 2021 release date. Still got a lot of filming to do for the whole season. I don't know how many episodes there's going to be. There is a chance that it may be, like, over 20 episodes, like Batwoman, you know, with season 1. Or it could be shorter, like, say, Black Lightning or Legends of Tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm looking forward to it, and we're going to be covering it on the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that there hasn't been many videos over the past week. I was kind of taking a break, so yeah, we're back making videos from now on. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.